I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from the assignment sheet of my student. And let me also thank Mrs. Sello for giving such good questions in the assignment. The question here is, Mrs. Sello is thinking about a sine wave. The wave has a maximum of 7 and a minimum of minus 1. The period is 2 pi by 3. There is a phase shift. However, Mrs. Sello wants you to calculate it using the fact that f of 1 equals to 5.401. Now you need to do two things in this. First one is determine the equation of the sine function. Use exact values. And the second part is determine the zeros from your equation for interval 0 to 2 pi. Well, in the first part of this video, we found the function which represents this given situation with exact values of phase shift. And that was kind of very tricky. I'll recommend follow my link and see that solution. I'll write down the equation here and we'll do the second part of this question in this particular video. So the equation was y equals to 4 sine, there were three waves, so 3 x minus pi by 4. So that is the equation which we found for the given maximum minimum and time period and the phase shift from the value at 1. So when x equals to 1, y is 5.401. We got this equation, right? So the tricky part here was to calculate exact value for phase shift. Now in this part, we are going to discuss how to determine the zeros from your equation, correct? Now I'm not going to give you the exact answers here, but I'll give you an idea. We have a lot of videos which are similar kind, but this one is kind of unique and so we'll actually investigate the uniqueness of this particular question. Okay. Now let's see this question in a different light. We actually want to find zeros from our equation, which is right there. It has a period of 2 pi by 3. When I say k value is 3, that means within this interval of 0 to 2 pi, I have 3 waves, right? So let me, let me draw some waves here. And then we will continue with the solution, okay? So I'm just drawing at random few waves. And then uh, I'll share with you my thoughts about how to solve such kinds of questions. So this particular video is more about approaching solutions rather than giving you a solution, right? I hope you'll appreciate this approach. What we were given is maximum of 7, minimum of minus 1. That gave us a mean value as we calculated in the equation. Average of these two, which was 3. So that was 3 for us, correct? The amplitude was 4. So 3 plus 4 is 7. You get this, right? So that is how we find this is perfectly fine. And what we got that the phase shift is minus pi by 4. Now when phase shift is uh, minus pi by 4, that means the sine wave really starts afterwards. So, so 0 should be somewhere before it, do you understand? So we'll just draw a line here. We are not worrying about the scale at present. Okay. And the x-axis, this is the y-axis. And the x-axis is this is minus 1. So somewhere above. So we'll just draw x-axis here. So it is not to the scale, you know, all my drawings are just free sketches. You can always plot them on graph paper, get very accurate results, okay. Now, what we can say from here is that, uh, let us say this is 0, let us say, right, then 2 pi will be, since our wave has got a time period of 2 pi by 3, we have 3 waves in 2 pi, right, so let's take this as a starting point, then then be one wave here, right? So sine wave for us is like there, but uh, so we have one wave, two wave, and three waves, right? So we can say two pi for us is this position, three waves, correct? As far as zeros are concerned, you can see we have zeros one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you should expect six zeros as your answer. You get the idea, right? So what you need to do is you need to find at least two zeros and then you can add the time period to get the rest. That is the approach, correct? Now let me show you how to find a zero. 
Finding 0 really means to equate y as equals to 0 and find the value of x. So we will do that. So we'll say 0 equals to 4 sine over in brackets 3 times x minus. So I'm using pi by 4. So that's the equation we developed. It is approximate number, right? So I will use pi by 4 itself now, plus 3. To find 0, we have to take 3 to this side. So minus 3 equals to 4 sine 3x minus pi by 4. Then we'll divide by 4, get minus 3 over 4 equals to sine 3 times x minus pi by 4. Now, as we had been solving all the equations, we'll say, well, let's treat this angle as theta, okay? Let's say, uh, let us now say, what is, let's say sine theta equals to 3 over 4. So, let's find the related acute angle. That is, that is basic, right? So, we'll find acute angle which is going to give us 3 by 4. So we are looking for a solution which will be in quadrant 1, right? So we say, well, sine theta equals to 3 by 4 means theta equals to sine inverse of 3 by 4. You need to use calculator at this stage. Okay, so we have sine inverse of 3 divided by 4, bracket close, equals to 0 0.0. 0 0.8480. 8, so four decimal places is something which is recommended. Okay. So we get theta as this much. But real answer for us is what? We are looking for minus, right? So the angle x which we are looking for is uh, not really in quadrant 1. It is actually either in quadrant 3 or in quadrant 4, right? So the answers we are looking for is either pi plus angle alpha or I should write theta now because I wrote theta here or 2 pi minus theta right okay so so our angles and we should say now x1 value will be will be uh, pi plus we'll write pi plus 0 0.8480 and the second x2 value will be 2 pi minus 0 0.8480 correct so again, let us take our calculator, find this out. So we will do plus pi, okay, uh, which gives us 3.989. So this is 3.9896, and the other one is 2 times pi minus 0 0.8480. So that gives us 5. 4, 3, 5, 1, right? So we get two values. These two values which we got are these two values. Do you get the idea? So one of them is, uh, let me write this as 3.99 approximately, and this value I'm writing as 5.44. Let's say 4, doesn't matter. Okay, anyway. So these are the two values which we have got. Now the idea is how do we get the other values? Okay, so you know the time period. So what you should do here is, let me use a different ink. Okay, this is good. So to get this point, what we should do? This is one period away. So we should add one period, which is 2 pi by 3. Okay? So add 2 pi by 3 here. Now this is the third point, whatever you get here, add 2 pi by 3 get this value. Do you see? So you get one, two, three values. Now to get the other values, what should we do? We should now utilize the second point, which is this one for us. And to find this one, we should do plus two pi by three. Okay. If you add further, you're going out of the range. But what you could do is you could take away. So from this value, that means 5.44, you could take away 2 pi by 3 and get the first value. So what you get here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You get 6 solutions, correct? And you get a fairly good visual view of what you are doing. This is how such problems should be solved. I'm Anil Kumar. You subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. We have a lot of questions which are like this, but in none have I explained the solution in this way and that is all because of the excellent teacher 
Mrs. Sello. I thought when you know when you have a good question, you just feel like uh, providing a better solution, right? That's that's how it is. Uh, it's kind of a positive feedback. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Uh, feel free to share your comments and subscribe to my videos to learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.